it's very prevalent. There are at least 300,000 people in Canada who suffer from hepatitis C. There's approximately 110,000 of those in Ontario alone. Um, what's so troubling about the disease, in fact, is that it's largely asymptomatic. So these hundreds of thousands of people who are infected may not be aware of their status at all. Um, and and, and that's, that's a real problem. They may not be fully aware or even seek treatment or, or screening until they've incurred serious liver damage and starting to feel the impacts of that liver damage. I'm tempted to say that everyone is at risk for hepatitis C. Um, the, virus, the virus is spread by blood-to-blood -blood contact. It's extremely hardy. It can survive on surfaces for weeks, uh, often in the presence of bleach. So it, it, is, it, it is a very hardy virus. It's also important to recall that we didn't eliminate it from our blood banks until the early 90s. So while traditionally hepatitis C may, be, may have been associated with recreational needle drug use or risky behavior, that's actually rather outdated thinking. Um, there are a lot of people who could contract the virus uh, through many different ways, which is why it's so important to engage in screening. Um, to know that blood-to-blood that -blood contact uh, could be the vector of transmission uh, to a condition that's largely asymptomatic but is quietly damaging your liver means that we have to start screening as soon as possible. There is a cure for hepatitis C, and in fact there has been one for years. Uh, the treatment development history of hepatitis C is actually quite interesting. We've gone from the early treatments, which involved regular injections, uh, almost a year of treatment with a 50% success rate, to today, where new drugs are very tolerable, um, low, low side effects, mild side effects, uh, almost a 100% cure rate. We have some clinical trial data suggesting that newer medications may be able to cure the virus in as little as one month of treatment, one pill a day. So, yeah, things are moving at quite uh, a quick pace, which is why it's such an important time to be discussing screening, treatment, and strategies. In fact, some people talking about this have called it a uniquely Canadian problem in that we have uh, some federal bodies and some provincial bodies. Uh, some of them are doing redundant or duplicative processes to some degree. Uh, despite the fact that Health Canada may have reviewed these drugs and declared them compliant with our food and drug laws, um, that only makes them available on the private market or on private insurance plans. We're really focused on access to them on public insurance plans. And in that respect, there's another federal body that reviews the public or social value of a drug. How much money should the federal government spend to get how much uh, clinical benefit uh, in health care? So, we're at that stage now with a number of these drugs where they've been deemed compliant with our laws and, and available on the, on the private market, but we want more provinces making them available on their public drug plans to get them out to, to most people in need. That's a good question. Uh, Canada doesn't have a national strategy on hepatitis C, and we, we desperately need one. Um, some other countries have looked to start these strategies or, or focus them around screening, find out who has the disease, how prevalent is it, and then approach it from that, that perspective. Once you're aware of your status, then we can start discussing treatment. So we really need to, in this country, have a statement and a strategy about who to screen and when, and once we've identified statuses, get the right treatment to the right people quickly. Um, some of the way these medications are prescribed now means you may not get them until you've incurred a certain amount of liver damage. Uh, and we know from clinical trial that the more liver damage you've incurred, the more difficult you are to treat. So that's another thing we have to address from a strategy perspective, is once we've screened you and know that you have the disease, we need not wait for you to incur more liver damage and, and lower the quality of life. We need to get you on treatment immediately. Thanks very much for joining us. For more information on hepatitis C or HIV treatment access issues, find us at ctac.ca.